Peace and blessings, guys. Peace and blessings. Shalom. It's Mark the Messenger. We're back with another video. This video is going to be about eight things to expect when God sets you apart. And these are going to be things that happened on my journey and things that you could expect too. And I feel like this video is going to be very, very important for those, especially for those in the youth, those who are now just now being called to be chosen. Because a lot of times, guys, in the beginning stages, things happen in our life when God's calling us and we don't know why th things are happening and we start to grow weary we start to lose faith we start to lose hope and we wonder is, it, is this the path the narrow path that i'm on is this you start to question is this the right path you start to question okay and i'm going to explain guys this video is going to be so important especially for the youth now anyone could hear this message who has ears to hear let them hear but especially for the youth so uh, stay tuned check it out let's get let's go number one you're going to lose friends and family okay even family members you're going to lose friends and family because you're not going to lose all your friends and family, but you're going to lose the ones who are not set apart. You're, you're going to lose the ones who are of the world, okay? The, the being set apart is being the opposite of what the world is doing. So your friends that were of the world, your family members who was doing worldly things, you can't, you, couldn't, you, you can't be together no more, guys. You just can't. A lot of times when people start to lose friends and family and they start to get isolated, start you know, feeling loneliness, which it happens. It's going to happen, guys. It's, that's going to happen 100%. When God sets you apart in the beginning stages, you're going to feel very, very alone. You're going to have no one to talk to. You know, you're going to have no, no, nowhere to go. You know, you, you won't know what to do and you're going to feel sometimes a doubt. I'm going to go in this video, guys. So remember, when God's calling to be set apart, don't ever question why God is doing that. When you start to lose friends and family because you want to walk that righteous path, that narrow path, and that many people don't want to enter in. Okay, even the Bible says, someone asked Christ, it says, uh, Christ, you know, Jesus, is, is there only a few that be saved? He says, strive to enter into the straight gate. For I tell you that many will seek to enter in and shall not be able. Okay, so understand that many people ain't willing to go that narrow path, but you are. So you could expect to lose friends. You could expect to lose family. You could expect to lose relationships. Okay, how could two walk together except they be agreed? Number two, conviction to sin will hit different. Okay, it's just going to hit different, man. You're, you're, that's what being set apart is. You're different. It's going to hit different. The other people, when they sin, you know, most people, it's whatever. But when you're set apart, when God calls you to be set apart, it's going to hit different, man. It ain't the same anymore. You can't do things like, especially when you're born again, like you can't do things and really ex have fun when you used to do before you became born again. Okay. Before God calls you to be set apart. When you start to do that, you'll start to see like, this is empty. This is vanity. It's no, it's no joy. It's no fulfillment. Okay. So the conviction to sin will hit different guys. I'm telling you. And you're also going to be a slave into righteousness. Okay. Which leads to obedience. Okay, rest in Romans, uh, I'll leave a verse right here. Romans chapter 6, verse 14, it says, so you're going to be a slave to righteousness. Okay, you're no longer going to be a slave to sin. Okay, that's what when God's calling you to be set apart, that's what it is. Now, let me, let me add some balance to this. Are, are you going to be a life without sin? Or are you going to be perfect? Absolutely not. You're going to make mistakes on this walk. That's why the Bible says in order to be wise, you must first become a fool. You must learn from your mistakes. Don't keep on repeating the same patterns. When God is speaking to you to put down certain things down, to walk away from certain friends, family, relationships, be obedient, hearken to the voice of the Lord, and that's when blessings will overflow because you're obedient, you're listening to him. God's protecting you. It's just like you're, if, 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 I, if I have a child, right, and I see my child with a fake friend or like someone I know who's a bad influence, I'm going to let my child know. You don't think God won't do the same thing too? So we must hearken to the voice because obviously God has more wisdom and knowledge than us. Okay, so always understand that you're going to be a slave to righteousness. Number three is 100% committed to obedience and having the spirit of Christ, okay? You're going to be committed. Okay, just like when... Uh, like a basketball player gets committed to like a D1 school or a, the NBA team, right? He's committed. He, same thing with, when God calls you to be in the army, uh, God, the uh, soldier for Christ. When God calls you to be the army of God, you're committed. Okay, you're, it's, no, it's no looking back. It's no looking. When God gives, calls you to be set apart, guys, it's no looking back, bro. Life will never be the same. But you, you have to count it all joy, though. Don't be sad because you're losing friends, relationships, family. Trust me. No, I mean, don't trust me. Trust God that God will make sure when you're when you're taking his going his uh, his will, going his path, that blessings are going to overflow. Now, it might not happen right where you, when you want it to come. OK, you're going to be tested. It's going to take time. It's going to patience. Let patience have her perfect work that you may be perfect and tired, wanting nothing. OK, so you got to understand it's going to be a lot of ups and downs on this narrow path. Nothing, you know, nothing is going to be sunshine all the time. There's going to be storms. There's going to be trial and tribulations. Okay, it doesn't be fake friends. It'll be a lot, of, a lot of things that's gonna happen in the neural path. So, but don't let that discourage you. Okay, do not let that discourage you. All my young, my young brothers and sisters in Christ, do not let that discourage you, guys. You gotta keep on fighting the good fight of faith, for real, man. Number four, a complete transformation. Ezekiel chapter thirty-six uh, to twenty-six talks about how God will, will not only will give you a new heart and a new spirit. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. I'll leave a verse right here if I'm saying it wrong. But 
it's not only the outside that's a good change. You're like, I remember before God called me to be set apart, guys, I would be cussing every sentence, every sentence, okay? Um, I it would, I'd be sagging my pants. Like I, I was completely transformed. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm set apart. I can't be doing that. That's what the world does, okay? It's going to be a complete transfer, uh, transformation. You can't be doing the things you used to do. God's going to change you, guys. God is going to change you. See more attention. He's going to give you wisdom. He's going to give you tools, wisdom, knowledge. See more attention, no fat, celibacy, okay? He's going to give you tools. He's going to give you knowledge, information, things that also could, you know, speed up that transformation. Fasting, prayer, okay? Worship, the best form of worship, guys. Worship. People say, you know, when should I, do, when should I worship? How many, how many hours do, uh, do you worship mark a day? Listen, guys, worship is obedience. I worship every day. Your, your number one form of worship is your obedience. That should be all the time. Now, of course, like I said, we're going to make mistakes along this path and we're going to sin. But we, that's, that, that's why the Bible says the blood of Christ, okay, to wash it from all sin, from all iniquity. Okay, so God will have you complete transformation. I'm telling you guys, the people you surround yourself with, the, the, how you train, how you, uh, how you dress, how will you, it's going gonna, it's gonna to change completely, guys. That's what's going to happen. Now, when will this happen, guys? Is it going to be within a week, within a day, a month? I don't know. That's between you and God. Only God knows that. All right, number five is God will put you in a season of isolation. Yes, guys, that's what will happen. God will put you in a season of isolation. Okay, like I said, and this is what's going to come with this. It's going to correlate to number one. You're going to start to lose. But that's just a test. To me, it's just all just a test. When, when God put me in that season of isolation, when, I, when God was calling me to be set apart back in 2018, man, I was, I was so lonely, bro. Like looking back, I laugh now because I wasn't as strong back then. I wasn't spiritually strong back then, but now I could just laugh. But I'm telling you, back then, guys, I was so lonely, man. Like that Akon song. I was so lonely, bro. I mean, that's what happened. But it was all just a test because I could have easily said, screw this. I'm going back. I'm going back. I'm going back to my I could have easily, like most people do. I could have easily took that path. But the strong, okay, those who have been sealed by the Holy Spirit of Christ, ain't no looking back. Ain't no looking back, guys. So God will put you in the isolation season. Even the Bible says in, in Proverbs chapter 18, a man... Um, he separates himself and gains wisdom. I'll leave a verse right here. It's in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 1. And that's what happened to me. When I was isolated, I gained so much. God gave me the wisdom. Okay? All praise is the most high for that. God gives you the wisdom, man. So always understand that. So God will put you in the season of isolation. Now, for me, I think I was isolated for about almost a year, guys. When God, now, it's, like I said, it's because it was a year for me. doesn't mean it's going to be a year, for, a year for you. Okay? It's all different for everybody else. But for me, it was about like a year I was isolated, guys. No friends. Like, literally... It was just like caveman mode, really. It was like caveman mode, right? But number six is God will remove all confusion, fear, and self-doubt. I remember in the beginning stages, Satan was sending out an agent. So I was just, I was living in fear because I thought that everyone who came my way was an agent. Now, most people, I'm going to explain the next one. Most people, when God's calling you to be set apart, Satan will send agents. He will. And because of that, I thought that everyone was an agent. But I didn't see I didn't know I didn't know the scripture. Two Timothy chapter one verse seven. Uh, yeah, it says God does not give you a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. That's the Holy Spirit, guys. A power. The Holy Spirit gives you power. Okay, always understand that. The confusion. A lot of people. A lot of times, guys, when people become chosen, they're so when God's become calling them to become chosen. I mean, uh, like that. When God's uh, calling them to become chosen, they battle with confusion. You know, even me too. Right. Stain also will say, I'm gonna go in the next one, man. But yeah, so God will remove all confusion, fear, and self-doubt, okay? Your worth, you, you'll, you'll know your worth, guys, when you have Christ in your life. Number seven is Satan will send counterfeits to lead you astray. Okay, I remember, guys, uh, correlating to number six. Um, when God was calling me to be uh, set apart, I went to the mall, and right when I walked in, I, I go to this mall all the time. Right when I walked in, um, it's spiritual warfare, guys. You got to understand, you got to gain wisdom, guys. Wisdom, wisdom, that's what everyone needs, okay? Okay. Um, People will come to me try to lead me astray. You know, someone told me about there's like a religion, the, the mother God. They claim that God is the woman. Um, I had Jehovah Witnesses knocking on my door. All to give me fake Bibles, false Bibles. Okay. All to lead you astray. Okay. All, that's all what it was. Okay. And these people won't know they're being used. They won't know they're being used. Most times, guys, most times people don't know they're being used by saying, okay. But saying going to do whatever he can. Because remember, like I told you in all my videos, or not all my, most of my videos, Satan knows what God's about to do in your life before you know. That's why he tries to stop it because he knows that once you reach your high calling in Christ, okay, once you once you understand what God's will in your, in your life is and you're being obedient, you, that your obedience and the, the spiritual gifts God blesses you with is going to be used to save many souls, lead many souls to Christ. Okay, the lips of the righteous feed many. You're going to be able to help many people, and Satan doesn't want that. So what is he going to do? He just he just send counterfeits. 
He's going to send his children. Not everyone is a child of God. People, I made a video talking about, I said that, and they're like, no, no, Mark, everyone's a child of God. That's not what the Bible says, guys. Okay, we must not be led by our feelings, our emotions. We must be led by the spirit of truth. That's what happens. That's the things to expect, too, when, he, when God becomes, calls you to be set apart. The spirit of truth, you're going to be able to accept it. Okay, many people, they rather choose their feelings and emotions, what's, what feels good. Okay, they want the ear, uh, ear to go message. Number eight is expect to be hated by the world, okay? Expect to be hated by the world. That's why you're going to lose friends and family, okay? So always understand that. You, you, you're, even Christ says, I'll leave a verse right here. If the world hates you, just know it hated me before it hated you. If you were of this world, the world would love you. When you were, when you were, back when you were in the world, everyone loved you. Everyone wanted to be your friend. But when God called you to be set apart, that's when people, you know, now people start to be jealous and envious of you, hating on you. Oh, do you see him? He's a Bible thumper. Oh, he, he's a Jesus freak. They're, they're going to slander. They're going to scoff and they're going to mock because that's what demons do. Okay, that's what people of the world do. Okay, so prepare to be hated by the world. Just prepare. Don't, don't be down on yourself. Don't be sad. Okay, it comes with the territory. It comes with the crown. Even Christ told you in Revelation. Revelation says that let no man take your crown. Okay, don't let people laugh and scoff at you and mock because you have a strong faith in Christ, a strong faith in the Most High God of Israel. Okay, so understand that. Expect to be hated by the world. Okay, expect that. People who have the spirit of the world in them. Remember, some Christians even have that spirit too, the spirit of the world. So quick summary, eight things to expect when God sets you apart. Number one, you will lose friends and family. Number two, conviction to sin will hit different. Three, 100% committed to obedience, having the spirit of Christ. Number four is a complete transformation. Number five is God will push you in a season of isolation. Number six is God will remove all confusion, fear, and self-doubt. Number seven is Satan will send counterfeits to lead you astray. Number eight is hated by the world. Okay, love you guys so much. If you haven't already, smash the like button, share this video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And check out this end screen if you haven't either. I love you guys so much. I am out. Peace.